Hi, Mr. Minnick, teaching my Java students how to import a compressed project into their Eclipse workspace. Here I am on our homepage under the demo programs column. We find a, a compressed file that we want to download. Magpie 2 is the sample here. I want to click on it. It automatically downloads to my browser's downloads folder. I'll trust that you'll know how to find that. I'm going to go to a show in folder here. It's a quick and easy way. If you uh, don't use that conven convenient click, you could also open up Windows Explorer uh, from your taskbar or some other shortcut. You could go to your downloads folder and right there is where that compressed file would be. Notice here I'm in the I'm in the uh, details view, and I can see that the type of file, it's compressed, also known as zipped. It's got that zipper on the yellow icon. To unzip it, um, I right click on it. I, in Windows 7, I go to extract all, dot, dot, dot. I verify that it, uh, the location of where it's going to unzip it. Uh, for now, that's fine that it unzips it to my downloads folder. I'm going to click extract, which in my way of explaining it, it's the same thing as unzipping or decompressing, I, don't, I guess you could say. And it opens up this extra window, which I don't really need that extra window in the Windows Explorer, so I'm going to close it with the X. And back here to the original downloads folder, I no longer need the zip file. Since I no longer need that zip file, I'm going to right click and delete it. And uh, now I have the uncompressed project that I'm record that I'm uh, I have downloaded from Minix website. Now I'm noting that location of where the uncompressed folder is. It's in the downloads folder, and I'm finished uh, with that part of the process. And now I open up Eclipse. And since Eclipse is already open on this computer, um, here it is. And within Eclipse, there's a menu command file import dot dot dot. That allows me to run this wizard. And if I go under the general tab, the general option, and go to the file system option. Oh no, actually that's not what I want to do. I want to go to the uh, existing project into workspace. So think about it. You are importing an existing project into workspace. I click next. I click browse to select the root directory, which is another name for folder. So I'm selecting the main upper root folder for this project that I want to import. Well, I remember that that project was uncompressed and placed into my downloads folder. So find your downloads folder and within there you'll be able to find, I'm going to uh, close up these extra folders, you'll find the magpie, in this case the magpie 2 folder. Now because of the uh, unzip there was an extra magpie 2 folder that I don't really need. It would work I believe if you highlighted this magpie 2 but I just know that this is the root folder that contains the, the important bin and source binary and source subfolders. So by highlighting this lower Magpie 2 folder and clicking OK, it's checkmarked and ready to go to be imported into Eclipse, into my Eclipse workspace. And I need to checkmark this option. If I didn't do this, Eclipse would recognize the project, but the project would be outside of the main workspace folder. So generally, you always want to check mark this checkbox. Um, at that point, I'm ready to, to import it, so I click Finish, and uh, it imports it. I check to make sure that the code is there under the source folder inside of the default package. I double click the uh, one or more Java source files that might be associated with this project. In this case, there are two files. They're there. I'm going to click uh, Execute on the uh, runner file just to make sure that it runs and it works. 
for this video. And uh, this project is running, it's executing. I, I do see it down here. It says, hello, let's talk. And Magpie 2 does work. Just to, uh, I'm going to close Eclipse just to show you now what we have uh, in, File Expo in Windows Explorer. In my Downloads folder, there's still the original Magpie folder. Well, I can delete that now to clean up. Um, I generally do not keep things in my Downloads folder. I often clean up things and delete them. Some people keep things in the temporary Downloads folder. But most importantly, in my Documents folder, which is where my workspace is. And inside that workspace folder, there is a copy of the Magpie 2 project, which has the uh, important bin and SRC subfolders. So um, I did successfully import the compressed project into Magpie or into Eclipse.